Well, the good news is I didn't break my thumb. It's a bad sprain. The even better news is I broke my kneecap. Welcome to the Eclectic Thrifter and Crafter, where we thrift and craft with purpose. It's Tea Tuesday, or in my world, Crafty Tuesday. Today my tea is chai tea, and that's what our project's going to be today. We have our wonderful little brown Betty and a lovely summer cup. Oh, it's a wonderful recipe. I hope you'll enjoy it. I'll put the recipe in the description below. Before we get started, this is my little fellow that just graduated. Time went so fast, and there he is, all grown up. He's the youngest of five boys. Well, here we go. We have a beautiful golden afternoon. We're going to begin with two cups of sugar, two cups of powdered milk, and two cups of non-dairy creamer. Our spices are cardamom, ginger, cloves, and cinnamon. And we're going to give it a good mix. Now we're going to add our unsweetened instant tea. For this recipe, I doubled the ingredients. You could use an alternative sweetener for this recipe. I use wide mouth curd jars for all of my storage needs. This is a wonderful recipe if you're thinking about starting your homemade Christmas gifts early. This chai tea is our family favorite. Well, we're all done, let's head out to the garden. We had a very cool spring, so everything bloomed very late. I got the fountain repaired. Everything's blooming around the bee garden. The honeysuckle, the wild roses have just finished blooming at one end and we still have a few white ones left. And the roses in the backyard are beginning to bloom. Any water feature in a garden is really peaceful and it doubles as a wonderful water source for the bees. Today we put another honey super on the beehive. We might put one or two more on before the end of the summer. They'll have plenty of honey for the winter. Now we'll head out to the front garden. And I'm going to be a little wobbly. The one thing nice about the flowers blooming late is I get to enjoy them a lot longer. As you can see, the color is very sparse in the garden right now. The roses are late blooming. We have a few open here and there. They're full of buds. And we're going to wander over to a real beauty. This lovely lady is Lady of Shalott. And she's one of my favorites. She's a David Austin rose. The garden's looking good. And this handsome cabbage rose is Winchester Cathedral. Also a David Austin rose. This garden took us 10 years to put together. 
that rose right there is Princess Alexandra of Kent. She is also one of my favorites. And we'll be back in a few days and you'll get to see what she looks like. There's one just getting started. Right there. my columbines. The wind knocked them down in the rain. I like to pull seeds when we go for walks in parks or in the wild and toss them in the garden and see what happens. My husband's raspberries are doing well. And there's another lovely rose. I think that's Gina Lola Brigida or that one might be. I can't remember that one's name. And she's a lovely coral. And there's some more columbine and the lavender's blooming. The allium has gone to seed. And this is another lovely coral rose. My hollyhocks, geraniums. And the pond will get filled this weekend. We patched it. There's nasturtiums getting started. And this is our fire pit we just made from reclaimed bricks. My husband's next project is repairing this bench. And I found this wonderful gardening bench thrifting. It was $10. And this is some basalt I'm gonna put around the fire pit when I'm feeling a little bit better. There's my herb garden. I don't have anything added to that yet. That'll be soon. and my corn will not be knee high by the 4th of July. That is a trumpeter vine. Well, all is well in the garden and no meddling needed. This is a wonderful butterfly bush. I pulled this out of the garbage at a grocery store and they couldn't give it to me, but they sold it to me for a dollar about 10 years ago. My son and I trim it every fall, and it's just fabulous. That little clematis will eventually reach over and hold hands with Lady of Shalott. The strawberries are doing well. The hops are doing well. Hops are wonderful for creating a shady walk area. They can grow up to 12 inches a day. Clematis are blooming. I got these at Costco about 10 years ago. And we have lots of bleeding hearts. They're a wonderful shrub and very deer resistant. Our French lilacs are blooming and they're absolutely delightful. My snowball bush is blooming out. I just love it. There's another French lilac. And then, of course, columbines. Here are my little cottages. I still have to put sod on the roofs. My son and I made those when he was about nine years old. Here's our rose and cosmos garden. This is a lovely caramel tree or Cercetophyllum japonicum. And I hope I said that right. Well now we've come full circle in the yard and we're back to the bees. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please like and subscribe. Share my thrifting and crafting channel with your thrifting and crafting friends. Please help me to reach 1000 subscribers. Check us out on Instagram and tap that notification button for upcoming announcements of thrifts and crafts. And we'll see you Thursday for a wonderful little thrift. Have a lovely, lovely day.